Take all my money. Take it all, honey. Just take it all. Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, my name is Shauna, and this is a fashion channel, fashion that you can wear into the office, fashion you can wear on the weekend. Um, today's video, it's gonna be just my ultimate, ultimate favorite things for 2023. Um, some luxury items that I purchased that I absolutely love. And I figured why not like kick off coming back on YouTube with this video because these items will be in heavy rotation for my Get Ready With Me weekly edition. Okay, not gonna keep you long. We're gonna start with number one, Loewe. Hold on. Listen, um, I actually have these in two colors, but when I tell you comfort 11 out of 10, comfort 11 out of 10, these feel amazing. I am a size 10, 10 and a half, sometimes 11, depending on the shoe. Um, I do not have narrow feet. I have like medium kind of width feet, not wide, but more like a medium. I can't do the dainty shoes. And I really was trying to like get into like luxury shoes that were comfortable. Okay. I know some of them it's, it's pain and it is what it is, but I really wanted some that were comfortable. And these shoes are super, super comfortable. They come in three colors. As far as I know, they come in this green, they come in a yellow and they come in a black. Um, I'm a size 10 in these. I did try on the 11. Now, for those of you who don't know, Loewe is just whole sizes. There is no half, so it's either 10 or 11. The 11, it felt floppy when I was wearing it. And usually I could be like a 10 and a half. Um, sometimes I can go to an 11, depending on how like small the shoe is. But the 10 fit perfectly. I purchased these and wore them the same night. That's how much I love them. And I am into shoes that you can wear to the car, to the place, back home, to the car, to work, back home. Not, I gotta like carry these, and then when I get to where I'm going, then I'm gonna change. So these are the type of shoes that you can wear all night through, no pain at all. I, I mean, ugh, I, I can't even describe how good these shoes are. Um, would highly recommend. They're on sale. Loewe is having a 50% off sale on some items. Um, I will link some options down below in the description box for you of some sale links, but definitely shop around. You don't have to spend full price on these. You can probably get these for maybe like at minimum 30, um, possibly 40, and in some cases up to 50%. Speaking of Loewe, hold on. You just go, <laughs> Loewe me, Loewe me, Loewe me. Listen, since Paris Fashion Week, I think, was the first time I saw these jeans. Maybe like last year, September, was the first time I saw these jeans. When I tell you, my jaw just like, I wanted them so bad. I wanted them so bad. I looked for them. I couldn't find them anywhere at all. Then sometime this year, I believe it was this year, they came out with like a cropped version. Mm -mm, mm -mm. I want the long version i do not want cropped i want to be able to wear these all year round when i tell you it's a pretty penny but quality denim like another item on this list is going to be another pair of quality denim but when i tell you i cannot recommend these jeans enough i cannot recommend these jeans enough so many ways that you can wear them Let me move my little hair girl this hair these roots are these roots are growing and snowing, okay? So we don't need to call that out, but let me just say they are growing and snowing. Um, I love these, I love these. And I'm really not into like fitted denim anymore. I'm into that like high rise kind of loose fit and these are perfect, perfect, perfect. I've worn them several times already and you will see them 990 more times, okay? Next up is also gonna be another pair of jeans that everybody knows about but they're just such critics to these jeans and i'm like why why you know what i'm talking about the margella jeans the margella slit jeans on the side when i tell you i've worn these jeans so much i also got them in white there are a lot of dupes quite a few dupes they don't cut them the way they're supposed to be cut they're different they look different they feel different if you were like, you know what, maybe the moment has passed, maybe I don't need to get these jeans anymore. These are forever jeans. I don't feel like these jeans will ever go out of style. 
I've had them, I believe, since last year, and I have worn them, worn them, worn them, washed them. They wash well. I'm just so into that, like, this 100% cotton. I feel like it's just, it's for me. It is for Next me. up. Why ain't nobody tell me about Byredo? Am I saying it right? If I'm not, you know, Byredo, Byredo. Why didn't nobody tell me about this? I went into the store to just accompany a girlfriend that was going in the store. She needed to get like some hand soap. And when I tell you I picked up this vanilla antique, honey, honey, this, even when I'm walking, like I get compliments on this perfume every single time that I wear it. <sighs> the price tag, ooh. But what happened was I put it on and then I, I saw how much it cost. I was like, you know what? I'm not going to get it. I'm not going to get it. And I left. When I tell you I was, I was doing this all day, I'm like, I have to get it. And that's how they get you. Once that scent get in your note, you're like, I cannot forget this scent. I have to get it. I love sweet, like floral scent perfumes. If you do, this will probably definitely be up your alley. I am like a flower bomb, Prada candy, um, I like the Tom Ford Velvet Orchid. Um, those are the type of like perfumes that I like. So if you're kind of in that family Prada, um, Prada Paradox is also another one. These are perfumes that I really, really love. I'll leave a link. Um, I think I did a roundup of like my favorite perfume. So I'll leave that link in the description box. If you are in that family, you'll definitely love this. This is like a vanilla, but with like a musky kind of, a musky, a musk kind of scent. Um, it really just, it, it feels like almost like, I don't want to say unisex because the vanilla is more female, but the musk and the amber, I think it has a little bit of like cedar in it. Like that really just makes it like, like that dark kind of moody like feel. And oh my God, I just, whew. if you were thinking about it, get it. Let me tell you, if you go down to probably like my older, 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 older videos, I was not a mini handbag girl. Would you all fit in it? It don't make no sense. Blah, blah, that's blah, blah. I was really not a mini handbag girl. And I got this. Um, I went to Africa earlier this year in January. And I had a connection from Africa through Paris for like maybe two hours. I didn't know all the shops were in the airport. And it's duty free in the airport. So when I tell you I got this for a really good deal, I got this for a really good deal. I got this. Um, I also got the, the larger black matte one because I just wanted a really nice black luxury bag. And these two bags have been on my wish list for quite some time. I find myself reaching for this one. Every time I'm going out, I'm reaching for this. Every time I'm going out. I love this. It is small. Um, it's not like large size, but this is really all I need. I have like some cash in the back. I have my wallet, I put my keys in here, I put my lip gloss in here, put a little bit of hand lotion. Um, I'm not gonna do a full review on this one, maybe I'll do a video review on it, but this is so worth it. I know this is like one of those like, just feels like it's trendy. I will always love this bag. I really would consider getting this in another color. The thing is, once you buy a bag in Paris, you ain't gonna wanna pay full price for a bag in the states i'm just gonna say that because the the cost difference is like unbelievable so i while i do want another bag i'm like maybe i have to just take a trip to paris or do something like that because i'm telling you it was i was just like that's why i got two i really was gonna get one bag but i'm like you know what this cost is so good i'm here i'm not gonna be here anytime soon let me just get two and worst comes to worst i could bring one to fashion file if i end up not wanting it but i really really love this and I really would love like the white one and the black one. But if I had to go with one, probably the black small one like this. But really, really a good date night. This comes off. Um, you can use the other larger like, you know, label strap, which all, I also have. But when I tell you I love this, I love, love, love. Who am I? Who am I? Who am I? Listen, I am far from a sneaker girl. Far from it. Uh, about a month, maybe like six weeks ago, I was talking to this guy, really good, like fashion guy. And we were going out and he's like, um, wherever we were going, it was more like a like kickback kind of vibe. And he was like, you know what you need? Like a good pair of like Jordans. And I'm like, 
uh, I don't really like wear sneakers like that. But he's like, if you get like a, a good pair of Jordans, that's really like all you need. You don't even have to like worry about like the trendy sneakers, this, that, whatever. So I ended up getting these. I went to, is it Fight Club or Flight Club? I'm not sure, but I'll leave it linked in the description. I think these are called the Tokyo ones. They also have them on like Farfetch and other stores, um, other sites. But when I tell you, I love, love, love these. And I wore these with like some Frankie Shop khaki, like, you know, parachute pants and a blazer. And I just compliments galore and the thing is if you're like a fashion girly and you're like i love to wear my heels i love to wear my my shoes but i really want like a really good pair of sneakers i would definitely recommend that you um look into some air jordans because a lot of other like the new balances a lot of other sneakers i feel like they go in and out these will always be in and i got so many compliments from so many different age groups i mean like teens 20 year olds men everyone because it's like they recognize the sneaker and it's like, respect, respect. I also got, I also got the classics, the OGs. I haven't worn these yet. Um, I just got them uh, a couple of weeks ago and I was out. If you follow me on Instagram, you know I had a laparoscopic myomectomy. I had a fibroid removed, so I was out of commission for like some weeks. Even before that, I was like really just, not feeling in a good mood um i was having symptoms for like six to eight months so i you know finally got it removed so um these came right before i had to go to surgery so i haven't um, been able to wear these yet but i have worn these love 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 um i'm normally a 10 i got an eight and a half men's in these i i got an eight i had to return it and get an eight and a half so um i would definitely suggest that you go into a store try them on for size and then you can go from there with like what fits you okay next up are Frankie shop pants um, I have a few that I'm, I'm, I'm I have them in the living room because I have to iron them tonight to wear this week these are two new ones that I got but I have Frankie shop pants that I absolutely love um, and that's what encouraged me to like go to the store try on some and get some more um, the pants that I love are the tansy pleated pants these are also tansy pleated um, let me show you hold on pleated. I will actually like just pop up some pictures of me wearing them but when I tell you these pants are 10 out of 10 10 out of 10 I love 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 the Frankie shop pants um, these specifically and I just want to get them in every color honestly they Frankie shop goes in and out of stock um, two things always do the notify me it works that's how I got these pants number one and number two go to the details and check the waist inches because I normally would think that I'm like a small, extra small, but when you check the sizes down below, sometimes it can vary. The thing is this vest, okay? And I knew, knew y'all gonna ask questions about this vest. I got it from Zara recently. Um, unfortunately, it is out of stock online, but, okay? But, I will leave the information in the description box just in case you wanna go into the store, because you know the Zara sales happening now and you know everybody and they mama is in them stores, number one. Um, but you know, I got this. I was going out to dinner. I came home. This box was at my door. I opened it up. I put it on. I was like, I'm wearing this tonight. Tonight. Love it. It's 100% linen. It actually like uh, ties here. I could tie it in the front or the back. I tied it in the back because I just like the way it looks in the front. But I really, really love this. Would highly suggest looking through Zara website. I'll link a few like 100% linen things. There's another pink vest that... I had it in my shopping cart, it probably is sold out. I'm sure when I check it, it's gonna be sold out. I'm sure. Let me check it. I think it was sold out in the, oh, it's still there, medium, large. It's still there, this is it. So I was considering getting this. I still might get it, but it's a medium, large, and I feel like that may be too big for me, but I may just get it and see how it goes. Um, but. I didn't go crazy. Um, I didn't even buy anything for the Zara sale. I got this full price. It's on sale now. Um, but I ended up getting this full price before the sale actually kicked off and I haven't purchased anything from the sale. I just have a few things in my cart, but I don't want to go like too crazy because summer in New York City been like on one. Last but not least, my Bottega Mules. I mean, we fancy. Brand new. I've worn them already several times. I got these brand new from the Real Real. Um, I always try to peek in the real real to just check out their shoe section. I don't buy any bags from the real real. 
they don't authenticate and a lot of people tell them, have said that they've gotten fake bags from there. So I only stick to the shoes and clothes. Love these. This is what actually like prompted me to look into the Loewe mules because when I tell you these are super comfortable, super comfortable. These are another wear all day, all day, all night, no issue. And I think it's probably the heel size also. Um, I'm really trying to like step my shoe game up and that's what I've really been working on. So that's why you see quite a few pair of new pair of shoes because, honey, I, I just be like looking all cute. When I get to the feet, I'd be like, God, I don't know what I'm put on. So I really wanted to take some time to focus on like getting shoes. And I got these for, I think it was like 200 and something on a good sale at the Real Real. So that is it. That is it with my like ultimate, I love, love, love these things. You will see them in my get ready with me's. You will see them all over. I highly recommend these things. And that is it. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section below. I will leave everything linked. Um, I don't think I'll be able to link the Bottega Mules. I don't know. I'll try to see if I can find some if anyone's interested. But in the Mules, I am a 10 and a half. And when I tell you Bottega's stretch, really, really good. Again, I am not a 10 narrow. I am a 10 like medium, so I need shoes with like some space in the front and on the back. I do not want my feet hanging off anywhere or the heel hanging off anywhere. I don't want that. So really, really love these shoes and really, really love the Loewe mules. And that is it, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you're not already subscribed. And I will see you next video.